So here I am again with another of my favourite plants. Uh, in fact, this plant is a tree <laughs> and uh, this is a persimmon. Now, there are two main kinds of persimmon tree and there's the American persimmon, which is cold hardy, but doesn't have a very big fruit. And then there's the Asian persimmon, which tends to be not cold hardy at all, but has a much larger fruit. And this is a cross between the two. There's quite a lot of these crosses around now. Uh, this one is called Nikita's Gift. And I've seen it, I got it from Martin Crawford, uh, who's growing it in his forest garden. I saw it there and I was able to get one of these from him. And we planted it nearly five years ago. I suppose the tree itself is going to be about five years old. Um, and what can I say? It's, it's a very beautiful tree. It has these just enormous, beautiful, big leaves. It started off for the first few years, just grew as this sort of pendulous umbrella shape. Um, and I was wondering, is it ever going to get, it was supposed to be four meters tall when it gets full size. Um, and I was thinking, will it ever get that big? And then last year, it just started throwing these verticals out. And so now we're getting some height to the tree. As you can see, I mean, essentially that is a one year's growth. You probably can't even see <laughs> on the camera uh, how far that has gone now. And for the first time this year, it started fruiting. So we've got some fruit here. So if you can, there we are. And so that's a flower that's then puts the fruit out and apparently they don't need pollinating um, but they'll just produce the fruit from the flower. The challenge with persimmons is that they need a long season to ripen the fruit and so we might see fruit here but whether or not they're going to ripen before winter is another question. Obviously in America you tend to, where it's more continental, parts of America are more continental then you get longer, hotter summers. Whereas here, we're in Cornwall, Southwest England. We don't really have a, so much of a problem with things getting really, really cold, but we, do, we don't always have the heat to ripen things. So we'll have to see whether we get any fruit. Martin Crawford says he's had some fruit um, that has ripened. So that makes me feel positive. And particularly as his is in the middle of a forest garden, ours is against a south facing wall. Now the flowers themselves have only appeared close to the wall. So again, I think that's a microclimate thing. But um, I'm hopeful <laughs> that even if it's just every two or three years that we might get some persimmons because the taste of a fresh persimmon is just unbeatable. And uh, the idea that I can have persimmons in Cornwall out of my garden is just such a blessing. So I would highly recommend, obviously there'll be an update once we get some fruit, but um, I would recommend this tree anyway if you've got space for it and you've got a good microclimate uh, somewhere warm to pop it, then I would say it's a no-brainer.